talking down on Wall Street, and it is not okay. We are the specters. We are the representatives of the people tortured, murdered, raped during martial law in the Philippines. Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! We are here to set the record straight, to no longer let the Marcoses revise history, to no longer let the Marcoses tell lies about what happened to the Philippines, That's what right. they've done to the Filipino people. They are responsible for the disappearance of over 3,000 people, the deaths of over 3,000 people, the torture of 30,000 people, the rape of 30,000 people, and the... Um, yeah! And the arrest of 70,000 people. We will not stand by while President Marcos arrives in New York to sell off the Philippines, to sell the Filipino people down the river for his profit, for his family's profit, while all the stolen wealth from the from the Filipino people stays in the Marcos family's coffers. We will not allow it. The Marcos family must be deplatformed. There is no place in this city for fascist dictators. There is no place in this country for our president. We need the president who is only going to do more damage to his people. We've seen our Kasamas already thrown out of the age of society violently for peacefully protesting. The age of society says they don't shy away from the hard questions in this world. I have a hard question for Kevin Rudd, President and CEO of the age of society. If you give a platform to fascists, what does that make you? If you have a theater full of people listening to one fascist speak, what do you have? You have a fucking theater full of fascists! That's right! That's right! That's right. That's right. We are calling to the ICC to continue its investigation into uh, former President Rodrigo Duterte, into the continued murder and an attack of the uh, indigenous people of the Philippines, of activists, of teachers. We have a short program here for you today so that you can all learn, so that Park Avenue can hear, so that the Asian society know what they've allowed into their building. Nico. Militant greetings. greetings. My name is Nico and I am here on behalf of Honored by USA, an overseas movement of youth and student organizations fighting for national democracy with a socialist perspective in the Philippines. It is shameful that in the same week that we have In the same week that we are commemorating 50 years since Ferdinand Marcos Sr. enacted martial law, his son, Bongbong Marcos Jr., is being wine, dined, and invited as a guest of honor by politicians and museums. It is true that I was not alive to see and experience martial law for myself, but it is also true that since then... Since then, martial law survivors have worked tirelessly to share their stories so that we, as youth, remember and understand not only the stark period, but also the legacy of those who fought back. I have heard from elders who were detained and tortured. I have heard from elders who were youth activists with the student Christian movement and with the revolutionary youth organization, Kapataang Makabayan. Yeah! Yeah! 